Let's start with what's next for the Federal Open Market Committee and how close the U.S. might be to tipping into recession. And for that, we turn to Dennis Lockhart, who served as president of the Atlanta Fed for an entire decade. Dennis, uh, listen, uh, the Fed said a couple of weeks ago, 75 basis points not on the table. Suddenly now, mm -hmm. next July, in just a month, another 75 is on the table. This is some table. Do you think that the 75 basis point hike yesterday was the right number? Yes, I do. Uh, I, uh, I didn't expect it coming in, but I do believe it was the right number. They're front-ending necessary uh, aggressive moves to fight inflation. Uh, you know, no time like the present to go after the inflation problem. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm very respectful of the 75 basis point move. And as the Fed funds futures show, uh, I would not be surprised if we see another one in July. Could I push you to September? What do you think is happening in September? Well, I, I think September uh, might be a little bit more in play in terms of 50 to 75. It's important to note that the summary of economic projections showed that they expect to be between 375 and 400 basis points by year. Uh, by next year, mm -hmm. and by year end be 325 to 350. So they have a 150 to 175 basis points to go this year, and uh, that's a, a fairly tall order. So I suspect they may look at the data, more data in September, and then make a decision, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how aggressive they need to be. I am so happy you are the one who's here at the top of this show, Dennis, because you took the helm of the Atlanta Fed almost one year to the day before Bear Stearns collapsed. So you are no stranger and to the recession that followed. You are no stranger mm -hmm. to making very difficult decisions when the pressure is on as it pertains to rate hikes. But this feels a little frantic. And I say that because, as we said, the F Jay Powell had said, 75 basis points not on the table, and that was just weeks ago. Suddenly, uh, you know, all of us, we were sitting here saying it is a problem. Inflation is not transitory. And boom, we get the not just the CPI, consumer inflation last week, but one day after the producer price index, inflation at the, con, you know, at the manufacturing level comes in at a crazy high number of 10.8. And then all of a sudden it comes through the markets that, oh, it could be 75 basis points. Do you think they could have handled this a little bit better? And I know I'm putting you in somewhat of a difficult position yeah. by asking you this to, to not criticize your your counterparts who are now in charge. But can you be a little honest with me? Well, I think perhaps they could have communicated better. What what Jay Powell actually said is the committee is not actively considering 75 at the moment, and uh, it came on fairly late in the cycle before the meeting started. Technically, they're in a blackout period, so they're not talking, uh, not, not trying to prepare the markets in the last few days mm -hmm. before the meeting. So perhaps he could have uh, been a little bit more open when he said not actively considering. Having said that, you know, there's a lot of talk out there about credibility of the Fed. They clearly made some mistakes uh, in anticipating this inflation. I think the most important credibility really is that they're, they have the willingness to take action when they face uh, adverse facts. True, true. And, that, and, and that is the situation. And so I think uh, the action they took yesterday ought to be a net add to their credibility. Okay, um, uh, fair enough. Uh, I do want to ask you about recession. We know that in the first quarter, GDP contracted. The Atlanta Fed cast, the now cast, real-time mm -hmm. tracker of GDP, it's not entirely 100% correct all the time, but they are both, for the real-time, at a goose egg, uh, the two updates in a row at zero. That means one tick away from contraction. Are we in a recession right now, Dennis, already? Well, if you judge by the now cast, the, the, uh, the GDP now tool of the Atlanta Fed, it sure looks like we're close, but that seems to be uh, contrary to a lot of uh, information, including data information, as well as anecdotal, that uh, spending remains strong. So it's a head scratcher for me, quite frankly, Liz. Uh, uh, it, this is the time of the quarter in which you should take 
GDP now seriously, the third month of the quarter. Mm. For it for it to show zero uh, suggests that there's something going on that may not really be grasped uh, widely in, in the okay. economy. Well, Dennis, we'll be watching it ever so closely, just like you, and we appreciate your perspective considering you, you've been there. It's not an easy thing to do, certainly. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Dennis Lockhart, Thanks former so Atlanta Thanks. Fed president.